what tends to happen is that we are referred patients who've had a diagnosis of testicular cancer for further treatment if that's required. So probably the first thing to point out is that not everyone requires further treatment and sometimes having the tumour removed and the testicle taken away will do that is sufficient treatment in itself and when that happens we do keep an eye on patients very carefully and they come up and see us regularly, myself and the nurse specialist for checks and blood tests and we can do that for quite a long period of time. As part of your um, testicular cancer follow-up, you will need to be, have blood taken at each visit. Today I'm going to show you what's involved in this, um, what the needles look like um, and how they will take this blood. To enable us to take blood, we need to put the tourniquet onto your, onto your arm. This is going to stop the blood flow coming down, so make the veins easier to be seen. We'll pull the tourniquet tight. This will allow us to see where the veins are, so it make it easier for us to insert the needle. Now we've found the vein, we need to sterilise that area so that there's no um, chance of infection getting into that when the skin is broken by the needle. This is the needle that we're going to use um, now that the skin's clean. So as you can see, it's not a very big needle and it's very thin and it's called a butterfly. And this just goes into the vein, the needle's in place we put the bottle into the tube and that automatically takes the blood from your vein into the bottle. We now have the blood ready to go to the lab which will be tested for your testicular tumour markers. All we do is release the tourniquet, this is the pressure and I'm going to slide the needle out and just cover it with a piece of gauze. That's it. Put a bit of pressure on until the bleeding stops and then we'll apply a small elastoplast. 